I'm not even wearing these ironically. I'm just going blind and I decided if I'm going blind I might as well do it fashionably and be blind like Harry Potter. Lifetime goals achieved. There's probably way too much glare going on so I, I will suffer blindness. I will I will remove the spectacle. So yesterday in Belfast on the way to my bus me and my friend saw Aidan Gillen aka Peter Baelish aka Littlefinger in Game of Thrones and we desperately desperately wanted to ask him could we have a picture or just say hi to him but living in Northern Ireland it was about to pour down. The poor guy didn't have a hood nor a brawly and he's just human. I wouldn't inflict somebody standing in the rain just just for my pleasure to say hello to them so that didn't happen if you can't tell already yes I am using name dropping as a device to hide the fact that I'm deliberately ignoring the fact that I haven't made a video in over a year and can't make a good enough excuse on camera for why there is reasons um, very good reasons but I can't talk about them online because it just isn't going to happen. It is related to health and mental health and it's just not going to be a video I'm going to make. Some people find it very cathartic just getting it all out there but I ain't that person. I bury, I bury deep, I forget and I move on. Um, and that's my coping mechanism. So unfortunately as much as I would always want to help you in whatever matter in life it's, it's never going to be that type of video. I am so sorry. If you want an accurate representation of how much of a mess my life has been, however, the absolute pile that you probably can't see on camera right now, behind me, that is the most accurate representation of the mess my life is that you could probably have. Shall, shall, I'll show you, I'll show you. Accurate representation of the mess that has been my life. I will fix it. So yeah, <laughs> I need to clean my shit. So an update in a couple of things. Monday, um, I kind of um, worked my last shift. Um, and in theory I'm currently unemployed. But that's okay because I'm entering my third and final year at university. Which is why I decided to leave my job of seven years that I've worked in since I've been 18 and I'm not having any anxiety about it at all. I decided that I wanted to do third year right and so to do it right I was going to temporarily leave work and just completely focus both on my studies in general and my dissertation in particular. So I left. <laughs> I will hopefully be going back next summer um, as, as, as a seasonal worker and then see where my life takes me because you know I do graduate this year you need to make some decisions in life and I really need to figure that out <laughs> also I have been contemplating making another YouTube channel specifically related to my interest in history called the amateur historian in theory I've made the channel there is no content there and I don't know if there is going to be content there because in my head it was a good idea now as I approach my third year it seems a very bad idea and I don't know if I'll have time to do it so obviously my main channel is going to be my main focus and I want to consistently try and keep content coming back up here now since I am here again and hopefully we can continue that um, but if you would like to see my amateur historian channel um, and content on it please let me know if it would be something you're interested in and if so what time frame and topic areas you'd be interested in hearing about, learning about, because I think academically it would help me be able to speak publicly to an audience um, about an academic subject and I'd be very interested in that but but time, time yo, time. Reading has not been a thing so in theory I always view my channel as more of a part of the booktube community. I haven't been reading at all. I did finish this morning, I will grab it, um, The Crow by Ted Hughes, um, which obviously is a poetry collection and oh, I, I bought this from a charity shop specifically because, because a part of me darling wants to be a part of Team Plath and didn't want to give my money to Ted Hughes so I thought I would do it charitably. I know he's not alive anymore so he won't be getting my money. 
But anyway, um, I thought I would give money in the good name of charity to, to, to get his poetry collection and I read it in essentially one sitting this morning and it's so good. It was so, so good. And I didn't want to like it, but it's so good. Especially considering I find Ariel quite a bit of a struggle to read. But hopefully I can read more and there'll be more bookish videos again soon. So it's now officially the first day of autumn, hence Hence my Jack Skeleton mug, I'm getting seasonally ready with tea because I am not a pumpkin spice latte girl at all. Mm. Cinnamon cannot do. And that's a very big element in the kind of typical Starbucks drinks of pumpkin spice lattes and chai tea lattes. I can't do the chai, I can't do the pumpkin spice. Mm -mm. Tea for me, please. Also, I'm sorry if I've sounded groggy in this. I'm recovering from the lurgy that I caught during Culture Night in Belfast, um, which we did wrong, essentially. We did see a lot of the culture, a good lot of the culture. I mean, we walked through hay bales to get to a pub of our destination, which was the Dirty Onion, um, but then we didn't really leave the Dirty Onion. Um, she caught the lurgy from the dirty onion. <laughs> that just sounds like some medieval medical diagnosis. <laughs> so things are improving. They're looking on the up, which is great. Up here is feeling a lot better. This is still a mess that needs dealt with. I need to sort my shit out. And I will. I want to apologise to you all for being gone for so long. I want to thank you all for just not unsubscribing and I have noticed that there was some comments asking where I was, when was I going to make a video again, why was there nothing coming up and I'm so sorry it just it couldn't happen and it wasn't going to happen but it will happen we're going to start again this is a new beginning for us all so there's that I'm so sorry um, but more regular content will be coming it'll be all okay we're gonna be fine we can do this 2016's almost over. The shit show is near over. What can I say? We, 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 we will survive it, guys. And better things will come. Until the next video.